Hey guys, it's Ed again. Um, I'm going to take you guys through the, uh, uh, what do we want to call it, the installation of the pulley winch, pulley skid motorcycle elevation contraption into the basement. Does that make sense? I don't know. But anyway, that's what we're going to do today. So uh, hope you enjoy it. I'll take you guys along for the ride. Okay guys, first step is going to be um, putting this system in, I think. Um, I'm thinking this is the way to go. So, I'm kind of lining it up by eye. And this has to come ahead a little bit because there's a 2 by. 12 stringer in the back, so we got to make sure we may have to cut that off a little bit um, just so it clears. And I don't want to go right dead center because it's going to hit right here on the uh, uh, support here for the stringer. So I'm guessing right about there. Got our handy dandy Harbor Freight $12 drill, total piece of garbage. Don't buy it. Um, it works, but not very well. So uh, I think uh, I bought it just so I could have it. I wouldn't have to run around to get the other drills. So actually, I'll move it back a little bit. Hopefully, it'll catch. Well, we made a hole. Put a bolt in it. Try to center up these pulleys a little bit. They're not the straightest contraption I've ever built. See how that's going to work, right? We've got three bolts. I don't want to climb up the stairs. Two over there, one over there. Drive those in, put some nuts on them. Maybe I'll even go out and try to find some shorter ones because those are wicked long. You get the idea. Step two bolt the winch down and then start stringing the cable so okay guys as you can see here I've got the uh, notch put in the back here and uh, I've got the loop up through I've got it bolted down but I am gonna have to cut it off I had to re-drill the hole it was too far ahead so continue on okay guys a little bit follow up here we got the cable fished up through the hole. The only thing I don't like is the angle down here. Originally I designed it to go down farther so that angle wouldn't be quite as steep. But we're going to give her a try. I think eventually it's going to rub through the stairs. But I don't plan on using this every day. So uh, anyway, it's hooked through the top pulley. And uh, the cable comes down. It's going to get looped through um, this turnbuckle here, or this uh, snatch block, and uh, then head right back up. So let's work on that for a minute. Okay guys, um, we're going to uh, set this up. I found a, uh, this goes in the box of a pickup. For a tie down, I thought that might work pretty good. We're going to mount that in the center, make sure we're going the right way, and uh, then we'll notch that somehow. I haven't figured that out yet, but let's find the center of this. 
This is 18 inches. So somewhere about there should do the job. Get down in the middle of the 2x4. Care of that and of course I didn't have a big heavy washer so I had a piece of thick heavy steel here and that will be our washer okay so now all we need to do is put another mark up here at nine inches and uh, figure out how we're gonna notch them out Probably just a handsaw, maybe. So, you'll see what I'm doing. I just put a mark right here, put a mark up there, tighten this up so it stays there, and uh, that will allow us to hook this into here, probably this way. That way works better. So we'll mount that up square up and down. I think that'll work, hopefully. Okay, so you can see we've got the snatch block on there. We cut a set of parallel grooves, another set of parallel grooves for the cable to ride through. And uh, that should help it stay straight, maybe. It's a thought. It looks to be a, a little bit wider. Um, so I probably should have went a little bit smaller, but that pulley up there is a little bit narrower than this pulley. So we got to give somewhere. So let's hook her up. I think we can try it. Okay guys, after lots of technical difficulties, <laughs> like day two, I gotta see if I've got this thing switched around. I think I got it switched. I have got the, uh, winch uh, on the pipe mechanism like originally from the factory I don't know if you guys can see how that would work it would hang from a, a pipe on the ceiling here the pipe is leg bolted to the bottom of the stair I needed the adjustability um, I tried bolting it to that 2 by right there and uh, it was uh, too rigid so this is the plan we've got. I am thinking that I've got the left and the right mixed up. Let's get down here and look. I think all I need to do is reverse that, right? I think. Okay, this way. Maybe this way. And that lays down. I still may have it reversed in the pulley. Is that wrong? Something. Something ain't right here. I got this one on that side. Yeah, this one will go this way. No, that's right. Yeah, this one will go in that guide. This one will go in that guide. Yeah, I think that'll work. And everything is parallel. Okay, good. Yeah, we're good. Okay, let's tip it over. We've got it strung the right way. Lines are parallel, going down to the pulley and up. Let's see if it'll lift it. I cut some grooves in here as guides, and they may be a little too deep, or I may need to put a 2x4 out here at the edge. But let's see if it'll get caught. It probably will. So let's give her, get the, Come on. The remote. Well, that's a good sign. It's actually working pretty good. It kind of catches and drags. It's making some weird noises. Going up. Oh. <laughs> Not sure what we caught on. But I haven't opened the door, so I'm not sure what that caught on. 
this is gravity I mean it'd be heavier with a motorcycle on it for sure come on baby hey, she's gone. oh I think I might be caught on something here okay guys so I don't know if you can see but the uh, snatch block is right about at the top and this red part is catching here that needs to be cut off because I keep destroying pieces of it here as it's going up it keeps breaking these off up inside there um, you guys can see where it snapped them off so. okay so let's go Oh, that's the wrong thing. Okay. Gets kind of hung up on that pulley. You guys can't see what it's doing, but I think that's where it's hanging. And my cables are all getting knotted up. Really sure what all is going on here. That should be going the right way. Can't get it to release. It's got a bunch of loose cable, but I think it's all wadded up. So let me look at that. Okay, guys, after some studying here. I have discovered that it works better if we start it um, at a slight incline. Um, let me see if I can get back on this. You guys can see it's a mess down here, but you can see I've got it started at the uh, second step, and that just seems to make life a lot easier. Very shallow incline should be easy enough to push a bike up on. Uh, it should stay there <clears throat> while you, uh, you know, leave it in gear and strap it down. It's not at an angle where it would slide off, I don't believe. So, um, from there, we'll put you over here and get you in the shot. Okay. Here we go. Going up. I remember which way to push the button. I haven't put any bolts on the end of my pipe, so my pipe wanted to walk on me a little bit. is right where you want to be um, so theoretically the motorcycle would be hanging in this position and then all you would need to do is either step on the outside or because there would be some weight there there would be some weight here I'd like to get it up another step at some point um, but that uh, hook is right at the max I think I showed you that so um, but what will happen now is I'm going to build a set of legs that flop down from the sides and that will allow us to tip this up. The leg will flop down, catch this probably step right here, right here on this side and then this will be flat for offloading and loading. Once you get the bike on, you can kick the leg out from under it, lower it down. So. You can see it's kind of teetering on that piece. And let's try releasing it. The hard part's going down. It gets caught. 
on that pulley. We may have to move the pulley. the bike back I think gravity will help once it you know has gravity on it I think it'll come down better and then like I said the second step seems to be the best I mean I could go down lower but I don't think you need to so in principle it's working we just need to tune it a little bit we've got to get this pulley over here back closer to the door and maybe slightly lower so um may have to do a little more welding on that so uh anyway guys uh it does work uh we'll work on finishing up the platform getting the rails on it so we can actually um you know the the parallel rail so we can roll the bike into it and then the tie downs so we can strap it down front to rear so it can't roll off so anyway guys thanks for watching subscribing and commenting and uh maybe hopefully we'll have a design that'll get your motorcycle in and out or up and down or in and out or whatever the stairs